What are you doing? One ambo to another, tell me. Come on, I'm Ruth Guy. Tell me the truth. I didn't do my job. Why? Because I hadn't been in a situation like that before. Oh, that's an excuse. Well, no, it's not. Not a crash like that. We had to split up. There were five people. Well, aren't you trained to do that sort of stuff? Yeah, we are, but... What? Nothing. You're right. We are trained. So, why didn't you do your job? I don't know. I do. You panicked. Yes. My mother's dead. Yes. So I can blame you? No. Well, you're responsible. I'm not. I'm, I'm not responsible. Well, what about my brother? You're responsible for him? No. Well, you found him. You treated him. Yes. So if he dies, I can blame you? No. Well, I need to blame someone. Look, when we found him, he was barely breathing. We stuck a tube down his nose and it got blocked. Yeah, so you put another tube down? Yes. In his throat this time. His airway was full of blood, wasn't it? Yes. You used too much pressure bagging him. Yes. The tube went too far, you were only ventilating one lung, and you gave him a tension pneumothorax. Yes. Yes, so I can't. I blame you. Because if I hadn't done it, he'd be dead. You want to buy me a coffee? Work. I just had to get away from the ethics of healthcare for a few days. Oh, so that that must keep you pretty busy. Yeah, you have no idea. Apart from studying, I pull beers at the pub and do some volunteer work on the side, so... Doesn't leave much room for a social life. Well, there's always room for a social life. <laughs> so, um, you're here with your boyfriend, or...? Um, actually here with one of my mates. One of my girlfriends. She's been coming here since she was a kid, too. So who's up for a swim? Rob. Uh, I'll pass. What are you waiting for? I'm not waiting for anything. I already told you I'm not interested in anything right now. Not interested, so that's why you're having trouble speaking like a normal human being? Excuse me? That does not mean I like her. Yeah, that is exactly what it means, OK? Come on, she's cute, she's smart, she... Sounds like she's single. Freak, that guy. What did he say to you? He asked me if I was a sex worker. My mum married him. <laughs> do, do you reckon she got busted just to get away? Yeah, I would. Good call. You seen his car out the front? Yeah, I've seen it, Dean. Far out. I live with a retarded rev head. Like I said, he's a freak. Should we shoot him? Put him out of his misery? Did you bury some money out here? What? I can smell it. <laughs> I heard about an insurance job you want in? No. I'm gonna wait for the call. What if it doesn't come through? I'm not gonna do anything more unless it's gonna be real profitable. <laughs> What's he doing? You wanna get out of here, got Ali's? Yeah, I guess. Where's Riz? I'll text him. Joe went to TOB. All right, cool. I'll do Joe. We'll meet him. We'll make a plan. Cool. Shit, man. What's up? I think he's testing us. What do you mean? It's a pretty risky job. We can do it. Jesus, you're a mad bitch. Would you stop saying that? We are. Whatever. I should be like a sick bitch, not a mad bitch. What the fuck is that shit? She was... Did you know your boyfriend was going to raid us? No. Not exactly. Oh, what do you mean by not exactly? Because that sounds a lot like a yes. 
I knew there was going to be a raid. I didn't know when. So you came here to my father's house as my bridesmaid, knowing we were going to be raiding? I didn't know it was going to be today. And you said nothing. Whose side are you on, Carla? Me or the cop? I can't make that choice. Can't or won't? Lisa, listen. There's a woman. Her name is Kate Andrews. She was killed. OK, I don't want to hear this. For today, you were my bridesmaid. That means shut up and look pretty. After that, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Detective Larry Hard. Now, I'm sure you're aware that there are procedural elements to this assessment and implications to any or all of the outcomes. Where did you get those pictures and the, uh... I'm sorry, who are you? This is Alpine, my partner. Sure. This assessment is for the individual. Where I go, he goes. I got his back. We keep no secrets. Oh. I see. Hmm. Listen, lady, let's just cut to the chase. I've been sent here for evaluation, yes? An assessment. Yeah, you need to know if I'm crazy. Mental. I see, I see. You're looking for the edges. The edges? The line between normal and mental, crazy and or loosey-goosey. All right. Wow. I need you to urinate in this for me. Urinate? Oh, okay. Uh, is there a bathroom? Can we get Larry a bathroom? No, no. He's fine. Stealth. Stella? Stella, talk to me. No, Tyler, just leave. It's better if you all leave. No, 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 we're not going to do that, Stella. Please. Stella? Just tell me what's going on. Stella, you don't need to do this. Yeah, I think I do. Well, Josh doesn't want you to do it. Do you, Josh? No. Hey, Josh, what about... Stell? What about... Stella, put the weapon down now. Stell? What did you say to me this morning? I don't remember. Yes, you do. You do. Think. Hey? You said you can't have it both ways. Your words, not mine. Right, now Josh is going to come to you now. And you're going to make the arrest. Josh! I'm with
Bonjour mademoiselle. Café Oui. May I I'm waiting for someone. Ah. I came through there. What? I came through the door a few minutes ago. <laughs> I'm um I'm waiting for someone else. A man. Ah. Other than you. Naturally. I'll wait with you for the man. Until he comes. And if he doesn't? I'll keep waiting. And do what? Read. Think. Of the man? Yeah. Tell me something. When you are with a man, do you think of him? Of course. So it makes no difference if he comes or not? Of course it does. When he's... You... You just said you think about him when he's not here. And you think about him when he is. Mm. There is no change in you whether he's here or not. I'm happier when he's here. In your thoughts? In everything. You could easily think he's here. But he's not. I am. I'm not with you. Because you're not thinking of me. I'm thinking of... The man? Yes. Will you ever stop? I don't want to. Yes, but will you? In time? Yes. And who will you think of then? Have you fenced before? Just started, but I'm a fast learner. Well, let's see what you got. Fencing. On guard. Begin. Impressive, but a little raw. Let's start with your footwork. Get off me! Fucking let me! You want to push off? Be my guest! There are cops around the corner and they'll come running. Hey, what the fuck? What are you doing here? I wanted to see Auntie Joan. Well, it's too late. She's inside, so get out of she here. She can't tell me what to do, Frankie. All right, I'll take you home myself. Come on. <laughs> Fuck! I've got a message, Shane. Just put it away before someone sees you. I'm going to use it. I swear. I believe you. But just put it away so we can talk. You fucking used me, Frankie! Well, what's Ferguson doing right now, huh? What's she making you do? Commit murder for what? She doesn't deserve to be in jail. What's she telling you? That this is for some noble fucking cause? She manipulated you, that's what she does. She fucking got in your head and she fucked you up. That's crap. You're just like the cops making shit up. She doesn't care about you. What the fuck would you know? She doesn't care about anyone. Shut up! You don't know shit, fucking lawyer bitch. You people killed my mum. You put me in ten different foster homes. I know all about foster homes. We're not the same, Frankie. No, we're not, because you haven't crossed that line yet. I did, and I went to prison for a long time. Now, trust me, you don't want that, because it nearly killed me. Shut up. You used that gun today, and we are the same. Shut the fuck up, Frankie! You reckon your mum would want to see you like this? You reckon your mum would let you kill someone? You don't know shit. She'd be doing everything she could to stop you because you're not a killer, Shane. But you pull that trigger and everything changes. <laughs> this is where you decide who you are. Just put it down. Just put it down, Shane, please. Just put it down, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>
Once you get in your car and get out of here. I'll take the gun and I'll meet you back at the house, okay? I don't want to be in trouble. No, you're not. I'm going to clear it with community services, don't you worry. I'm proud of you. Be good. We're okay, right? You and me. We can go back to normal, everything's fine. We want different things. And if you need to be a father, then I want you to be free to do whatever you have to do. I just want things to go back to the way they were. I think maybe it's a little too late for that. I take it back. I can be happy without being a dad. Maybe for the minute. But what about in 20 years? Well, I'll have you. I love you. I love you, Matt. And I'm so sorry. But I couldn't live with myself if I came between you and having children. And I just hope that one day, maybe in 20 years, do you realise I did this because I love you? Did what? I'm going to Bali. You were right about Ivy. She has a mother. And I'm going to find her. You knew where to find that letter and scan yesterday because you only put it there after Taylor was dead. This is ridiculous. I'm busy. I need to sort through Taylor's accounts. Oh, yes, I'm sure you do. Exactly how much money were you making from Taylor, the cancer survivor, and her miracle supplements? It must have been quite a lot for you to hide that letter from. If her. you don't leave, I'm calling the police. It's an excellent idea. Why don't I do it? What's the penalty for corporate fraud these days? I'm guessing prison. By the time that letter arrived, Taylor was well down the Minerals for Living path. Her social media was going nuts, publishing and vlogging deals were rolling in, the money was enormous. And that's all you cared about? For her. Once her modelling career was over, Taylor had nothing. All I did was withhold one letter. But Taylor found out, didn't she, when she went back to the oncologist? What happened? I'm imagining she was angry. We argued, yes. Why didn't you tell me the truth? You didn't want to know. 
The partnership soured because she wanted to go public. And I told her we'd look like frauds. We might both go to jail. Did you push her down the stairs? No. This happened days ago. I was nowhere near here when Taylor died. 